Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Matoma card to check out. Uh, with this card, it kind of looks like they well formatted him for the most part. And the reason why I'm saying this is because they actually gave him defensive stats, right? Uh, and he looks well formatted for other areas of the card too. So we're going to see how he performs. Uh, he's 5 foot 10, high medium work rates, right footed, four star, four star capabilities. If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code Inception when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order player traits he has the outside foot shot trait technical dribbler in-game attributes this card is formatted for what a basic again what is this so balance is low uh hmm, that's an interesting one actually because he gets defensive stats too let's see because i never actually checked out this card like in advance so let's take a look here um, he is a control player, supposed to player, dead eye chemistry style, dead eye or marksman. The dead eye gives him what? Okay, so dead eye gives him a massive shooting boost, good passing boost, some defensive stats. If I'm playing a 4 3 2 1 and this is my attacking oriented player, that's actually pretty good, to be honest. Yeah, that's probably gonna be the main position I see him being played in because I, I see the average body type effect in the car with a 5 foot 10 height, but maybe in game it surprises me, who knows? Uh, the traits. He has technical dribbler and outside foot shot. See, that on the right side would be really nice, actually. Even if I'm playing like a 4-3-3, where he's my attacking-oriented center mid as well, that would also be uh, a really nice thing to work with. So yeah, Deadeye's not a bad choice. A marksman is also not a bad choice because of the dribbling boost that you end up giving the card, and it would make him a controlled player, which do I personally care too much about making him a controlled player? Not necessarily. I feel like... Uh, I feel like the dead eye is kind of good enough because like like i said i feel like that's the main way that you would use this card if you're actually being serious for the meta of the game right so yeah definitely gonna give him the dead eye uh dribbling we'll be experimenting with because of the five foot ten height average body type all that good stuff again the biggest variable in this card is the fact that they gave him uh defensive stats because let's say for instance you didn't want to improve the shooting for base card stats you know you leave it as it is you could technically just give him the sentinel right you give him a really big uh defensive boost as well as a physical boost and it would just be a well-rounded card because the base card stats for pace is in a good area too. So if I decide to play in a three-back formation and he's my right mid, I could totally do that. What would an anchor give him for the defense again? So anchor, because I know it's a 15, it's a, it's a big one for a shadow. And an anchor, it's more well-rounded for the 80s part while still giving him pace. So an anchor also wouldn't be a bad choice. It just depends on the person, I would say. But for the review, we'll give him a dead-eye chemistry style. You guys know the vibes with that. Um... Okay, cool. So dribbling stats will be set up the way that it is. We'll try the defending stuff too with him. We'll, we'll, we'll see if we can get some highlights with that. And then for physicality, also set up in a certain way as well. So very interesting stuff for the most part. Um, for now, we'll give him that dead eye chemistry style. So let's go ahead and do that. And then let me get this tactic. Okay, guys. So uh, we're going to be setting him up in two different ways because we're trying out this new formation. So it'll be in the 4-3-3 from ALP. Just got to make sure I do this. This will be reviewed at some point, right? So we're going to have him up top in the striker position, but I'll be rotating between him and Erling Holland because in that Erling Holland position, we have it on get forward. So it's a guy, it's a guy that can attack and defend. So we'll switch between those two uh, for the sake of the review, and we will basically just take it from there. So yeah, we'll see what he's like. Hopefully he's a beast. Oh, I try to hit him with the Burba cancel. Oh, come on, man. I put too much power on that. I didn't expect him to hit the shot like that, to be fair. Oh, white time shot. I don't get it. On a green, maybe I do, man. Maybe I do. Oh, nothing on the green from a distance.
the animation was actually pretty good though for, for the uh, finesse shot. Very direct, you know. I'm gonna try another strike on a green. It's like a dip strike there. It was weird. Oh man. It does get a defensive play there though for me, which is great. You see what I'm saying about the free flowing part? Like that running, like so the agility and balance takes forever, I will admit. I'll be the first to admit that, okay? That's still my fault because I still got to like pass the ball a different way knowing that his agility and balance is like that. But it's that running animation that's like super helpful to work with. Matoma even does a defensive play there for me. Look at that. That was a good first time pass though. I'm lucky. Matoma on the defense. Now we still have it. And we score. Oh, we don't score the finesse. Unlucky. And we get a deflection. Oh, unlucky. Try to work the small spaces as much as possible there. Oh, I wish that pass was a little bit better there, not gonna lie. No, Matoma got to that event initially too. Gets ahead of him. Look at that. Let's go, dude. All right, listen, I scored Matoma, but you know where that play started from, bro. I'm just saying. It started the pass that came off afterwards. Like, come on. Come on, bro. Come on. It's my boy. It's my boy. Oh, let's go, Matoma. Nice. Matoma's got that. Let's go. Pass it off. There we go. Hold up the play like this. There we go. Play the ball off. Nice. Pass it back. Wait for the support here. Yeah, that's going to be his best area. It's that attacking oriented center mid for sure. Oh, man, if I took the right touch there, I'm solid. Oh, we're good. We're good. Don't even worry about it. Get it off. There it is. See? What I'm talking about, bro. That's what I'm talking about, bro. We need that movie mental. Matoma's gonna do that for you, bro. I, that, that's what I'm saying. It's such a big deal that they gave him defensive stats because it adds to the card. Oh, I didn't get that one. I still have the dead eye on him in that center mid position, just, just to let you know, okay? We still got it. Let's go. Keep it going. See the movement here. I should push him down. I'll go offside. No problem. Move him to space like that. Perfect. Bang. 
Oh, win now. Bang. And that's what it is, bro, right there. That's what I'm talking about. Like, I, you, you can just see the way the cards format. You're like, all right, I know exactly how to use this bad boy. I shouldn't have ball rolled downwards. I should have gone upwards. Beautiful pass. Oh, the AI in this game. If it does, if the AI doesn't save you guys, oh my goodness, I'm doing plays left, right, and center. Oh, I got him though, man. I had him on it. How does that not? Uh, you know why? It's because it's Bruno, isn't it? Bruno, it is. He doesn't have the weak foot for that uh, right center mid posi position. Nice perfect cancel. Oh man, it uh, it's a good build-up play though. Oh thank goodness. Oh dude, imagine I didn't score that. Manual goalkeeping, he would have gone back into position. Oh, I would have been cheese, guys. I'm telling this right now, man. Oh, nice build up play, though. It was nice. Really nice. Probably should have done like an extra pass there or something. Nice try. That skill move that he did there randomly? Well, I did not expect that at all. I don't know what's happening right now. Oh, nice try. Nice try, nice try. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. He sometimes he sometimes does like this really nice sharp touch. It's like really helpful to work with. Oh yeah. Give me that. It's all Matoma, man. Oh man. I saw, I, dude, I think my player picked him there. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I think he picked him. Ah, uh, yeah, way too close to the middle. That's it! That's it! We just need the small movements. Go for that kickoff glitch again. flowing but I still can't get it oh let's go no too fast eh. that free kick is like not really that uh, good anymore eh bro attacker advantage in this game my boy like what are you saying attacker advantage my boy Matoma, come to, come to me, come to me, Matoma, come to me. Yes. Oh, got it stuck on his left foot there.
See, he gets involved though, man. He's fun to have up there. Just pushing forward. It's good. And another goal, man. Another goal from the homie G. The way he gets involved. Look at this. It's sick to have there, man. Look at that. Quick. And he scores a goal for me. Quickness, bro. I need that. That's why I love the dead eye. Because, like, for me, making him that type of player, you know? Move into those positions. And then my boy Paling is still doing defensive plays. Like, come on. Oh, he's lucky, bro. You see that little touch he took before that finesse shot? It messed with him. No, dude, he was there. Oh, finesse. Oh, I don't even know why I try the finesse. This guy just did a power strike from the finesse. Oh my goodness. It's crazy, bro. Matoma, come to me. Little skill move. Go back. Yeah, little Berber cancel. Oh, no. Guys, I never played FIFA in my life. I don't know the skill move, sorry. Touch it. Oh, of course. I, I had a feeling, bro. I saw the way it went in the air. I was like, crossbar. Oh, that one's a green, but no chance. No, so close, <laughs> so close. Dude, I had it too, man. That's I had that small space right there. Far poles, guys. Why did I go far poles, bro? Because I have to think about the manual goalkeeping. It kills me, man. It kills my soul. But don't worry, but Thomas got me. Oh wait, no, I can't because he knows it's he knows it's coming. He has a sharp touch, bro. I like it. Oh no, white is still good. Oh, I caught him on that, bro. I went, I went with the, the razzle-dazzle with him, you know? I was like, I'm going back. No, I'm not. Wait a second. No, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I hit him with that. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the Matoma card. So guys, listen. Sometimes when you play FIFA, you got to look at the cards and the way that they're formatted, okay? It's very important to check out these things. I really enjoy using this card as an attacking oriented center mid because he has some defensive stats, which he actually does use in game from time to time. Right. And he's just very solid on the attack, like the accelerate of explosive for this card. OK, it's very noticeable. Like when you're building up the play and you're just pass and go, pass and go, pass and go. He's very explosive to move into areas very quickly. So giving him the dead eye chemistry style to play in that general vicinity was fantastic you know i got some strikes off with his left foot with his uh, uh with his left foot with his right foot um it didn't really matter too much he still hit them really nicely the reason why i want to use him mainly in that position even though you technically you could use him up top in the main attacking positions as long as you're using him in the side positions okay the reason why i'm doing this is because of the way that the dribbling is formatted because if i give him a marksman right you still see where the balance and stuff is right so you feel the average body type and the five foot ten height but if you're using him in the way that I'm telling you as an attacking oriented midfielder, like even if you guys use that 4-3-3 that I showed you and he's your cam or you're playing him in a 4-3-2 when he's your center mid as the attacking oriented player, or this 4-3-3 that I'm showing you guys where he's the uh, get forward center mid, he works so perfectly fine in those positions. And the reason being for this is because of the defensive stats that they ended up giving the card. So um, honestly, 
As one of the OBJ cards, he's really cool. I really enjoyed using him. I thought that they were gonna make this card super generic, but he's not. You can actually use him and he'll actually do work for you. It's very, very enjoyable to use him. But yeah, I personally like the Deadeye because of the massive shooting boost that he's given as well as the passing boost. Um, and I would just work with the dribbling as it is because if he's my midfielder, I don't care that much about it. You know what I'm saying? Because the way that he gets involved in the attack is awesome. Like it's a really, really cool card to use. Like in the beginning, I was like, okay, I have to, you have to see how the player like moves a certain way. And you're like, okay, I got, I got the hang of it. And then after like three minutes of highlights, I was like, now I know, now I know what the card's like. Um, so it's a good card. It's, it's a very solid card. Really, really huge W uh, OBJ card. I really enjoyed using him for what it was. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out dudes. Love you guys.